Okay, now I'm ready to. Ooh. Okay, let's go. So before I start, I should probably tell you all, I am an addict. And unlike my dear friend Jessie here, and despite the appearance, it's not an addiction to Claire say drugs, but rather, I'm a Disney-holic. So to paint a clearer picture of this obsession, here's a couple of images of it. So there's me as Simba on my 19th birthday, me as Snow White in Lloyd's Bar, classy, and me as a slutty belle, very, very slutty, but yeah, paints it quite well. And it may seem quite adorable, obviously, but it's actually caused quite a problem for me. I'm a bigger diva than Queen Bee, whilst at the same time acting like a naive and excitable child on a daily basis. It's just not ideal as an adult. And despite the overwhelming, all-consuming, slightly creepy love I have, I can't help but think that really Disney's ruined my life in so many ways. I mean, everything I've ever learnt from Disney is total bullshit. <laughs> For example, all men are princes, 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 and you can turn even the most repulsive beast into a sweet delight. A glorious, wonderful idea. Of course, Prince Charming is just waiting around the corner for all of us. Sweep us off of our glass clipper slad, clipper slad, feet. <laughs> but that's bullshit because I've been waiting my whole life for Ryan Gosling to come into my life. Any suitor to turn into him, it's not happening. No enchanted rose or magic lamp, sorry Tom, or magic lamp is gonna bring that sweet, sp ooh, life is a glorious musical. Quite like the fabulous Amy Adams or Giselle to the Disney massive, whoop whoop. I maintain that life should be spent twirling, spinning, and just generally spreading my mesmerizing voice across the land. Except my voice is far from mesmerizing. That's me, by the way. And most of the time when I'm spreading the beauty of song, I'm pretty intoxicated or I'm making my colleagues want to kill themselves with my violent rendition of Let It Go, Frozen, FYI. <laughs> Cleaning is super duper fun. I mean, look at these chicks, they bloody love it. And they've got these adorable little critters just helping them make the place sparkling. It's just wonderful. I mean, it's just when they're the happiest. It's kind of a cliche, but what are you gonna do? In reality, cleaning is my most hated of all activities. I actually think I'm allergic to it gives me a headache, makes me come up in a hot fever, and generally just causes distress. I mean, come on, Walt, how is that in any way fun? It's just not, it's not cool. Everyone in the world is American, and it's totally awesome. <laughs> Arabian, Chinese, whatever you are, if you're a princess, you have to be American. I blame that for my constant desperation as a child to be American, and my annoying habit now of speaking in random accents on a daily basis. And I don't know if you've noticed, but if they're not American, they're pretty much gonna be the butt of every joke. Sebastian the crab, Lumiere the crazy candle, or Walt just makes them English and pure evil. It's kind of awkward, a bit racist, but what are you gonna do? Bad guys never win and will eventually be eaten by hyenas. It's quite a reassuring thought growing up. You know, obviously, you know, you're gonna get your comeuppance, calm as a bitch and all that. <laughs> the issue of that is, this bitch is still alive. <laughs> this Prada bag wearing Johnny Bravo douchebag is still in the world. The evil of all evil resonates in this mega slut and yet he still walks around with more money than I will ever have. How is that fun in any way, shape or form? Being a princess solves all of life's problems, obviously. Hence why I spend my whole life dreaming of wearing a diamond encrusted tiara and why most of the time I wear this plastic pink fluffy one to just make do. It just makes me feel so good. From experience, I know that being a princess actually doesn't you know, help, especially a drunken princess makes you look like a bit of a psycho. Your shit's still gonna be there, you're just gonna be more pink and fluffy when you're dealing with it, you know. And it's okay to drop all standards and your inner independent women for men. Take Ariel, Cinderella, Snow White. At the sniff of a prince, they drop their family, aspirations, and their knickers with a poncy wave of their regal hand. Dicks. <laughs> Luckily, Queen Bee is my another idol, so I ain't dropping my standards for nobody. <laughs> it's a pretty messed up image for little kids growing up, but probably no more messed up than Miley Cyrus and her wannabe ass and demon tongue, so it's fine, we'll stick with that. But despite the, you know, the heartache, the lies, despite the mild racism, and despite the mild sexism, and despite the fact that Walt Disney was probably a raging pervert, I still fucking love Disney with all my heart, and I always will. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Disney is the perfect form of escapism, and it takes me back to my naive and innocent years. 
I'm Princess Belle, and I command you all to go and get another drink at the bar. Thank you. (laughs) 